do, 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 do. Oh, hey there. Um, just a moment, please. I just want to quickly activate this uh, uh, plugin. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think I have my semanticcss.com. Yep. I need to get the license from there. Uh, my account. Uh, let's see. Oops. Oh, oh, damn. This internet links up with my connection. Um, I think I have it somewhere else. Let me check my notepad. I got it here. Okay, uh, automatic CSS. Oops, 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 oops. No. Oh gosh, I forgot. To... Oh boy, let's. Uh... I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a Hello there. Come just a moment, please. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to awesome. do just to feed me. And what was left me. over, I put towards my dream. Okay. But the only thing in life that has meaning. Cool. If you're a developer and you work with a lot of add-ons and plugins that require you to activate the license, then you should never walk one day again in your life without this extremely useful Chrome extension, License Body. License Body is a Chrome extension that stores all your licenses and automatically detects which license page you're currently at and fills it. If I were going to rate Chrome extension that has made my life easier, this will easily be among the top three. If you take a look at the right hand side, you'll see different tabs. And the second one has a list of all my um, add-ons and stored keys. The third tab has to do with manage store keys and you can upload the keys saved in a CSV file or you can export it. Then this tab has to do with the settings. You can change the theme. Auto submit simply means that once your keys are inserted, it's going to automatically submit it. And then you have the M mode. The M mode simply means that if you are in a page, that you cannot auto fill for some reason. For example, pages that have multiple license fields, and in that case, it may not be able to choose which particular field. Then you may have to go in and maybe copy a particular key and then just aim at the input and click, and it's going to automatically insert the keys. You can also add keys from current URL, which means if you're on a page that already has a key inside. So, one of the ways you can add a key. So license body is just by adding a key from current URL. Now let's take a look at the key list. The key list has a couple of features where you, you can copy, you can edit, you can uh, set your favorites. And if you go here, you can only see the ones you have chosen as your favorite. You can multi-select and then gives you the ability to maybe delete in bulk. For example, if I choose multi-select, I can select this and then I can add them to favorite. I can also delete selected. There are two ways you can add a key to license body. One, you can just click add key from current URL. Well, it really doesn't matter what URL you're on, but then if you're on the license key page, it's gonna automatically add URL contents parameter, and then you're gonna write the license name and then insert your license key. And for the selector type, you can just leave it at auto detect. For the most cases, this will work. But if you don't wanna do that, you can also select the input ID and write the input ID here. You can also select the name and write using the name attributes. But for most cases, you better leave it at auto detect. It does a good job at auto detecting the selector type. Another way you can add a key is by going here. Then you can import sets of keys that you have saved in a CSV file. Now to know the exact format in which you should save your CSV file, it is better to first of all, maybe add a dummy key. And then you go here and export that key. So when I click export, it's gonna export that key. And then you just save it and then go ahead to open it, then you will see the format for your CSV file. To get license body, simply go to licensebody.io and download your version. I think for now it's compatible with three browsers, Chrome, Brave, and Edge. Uh, I think they're working on the Firefox version. So I know one of the questions you have in mind could be how safe and how secure is this? Isn't this gonna expose my key to whoever is doing this software or you know, to the public? Is this really secure? Well, it is uh, secure because um, if you take a look at the Javier, we do not have access uh, to your license. So the permissions, so when you go to Chrome, you're going to see that the permissions that this extension requires no special permission. And then under site access, this extension has no additional site access. So this extension cannot access information on your site. So what happens is that these 
our keys are stored locally on your own browser so it does not transmit any information to the plugin author so yes it's safe so get it and put an end to copying and pasting uh, licenses and trying to figure out where uh, you, you saved your license and trying to go to some website to log in to get your license keys and one more thing and um, very soon the pro version will be out so i'm not quite sure it's, it's not yet ready so um, keep an eye out for that and for the extra features that the pro version will bring so that's all about the license body so try it out and let me know what you think about it and one more thing the author of this extension is the member of the oxygen and bricks community so you can check him out um, this there was a post in the bricks community and uh, so this is the guy uh, check him out if you have any questions you can actually uh, reach out to him in the group or send him a personal message uh, I believe he's gonna answer most of the questions that you have so check out license body let me know what you think about it talking about tools that can make your life easy check out this video right here about recorder workspace and you'll be glad you did